of his life at the moment. Read the book, the USA, of her provisional view to afford you the opportunity to offer assurances to the court. And B, the USA has now provided the United Kingdom with a package of assurances which respond to the DJ specific findings. Four assurances have been offered by USA in a diplomatic note dated 5th of February 2021. The judgment, well, it's a, it's a sham. Uh, justice is finished. Uh, the whole establishment, uh, you know, it's, it's a schoolboy tie. They all stick together. The judge is a friend of uh, Ian Duncan Smith, who will probably be our next prime minister. And he called Julian a snidey worm. How can this court, how can these courts approve an extradition request under these conditions? How can they accept an extradition to the country that plotted to kill Julian, that plotted to kill a publisher because of what he published? This goes to the fundamentals of press freedom and of democracy. We will fight. Every generation has an epic fight to fight. And this is ours because Julian represents the fundamentals of what it means to live in a free society, of what it means to have press freedom, of what it means for journalists to do their jobs without being afraid of spending the rest of their lives in prison. The UK imprisons journalists. They're imprisoning Julian on behalf of a foreign power which is taking an abusive, vindictive prosecution against a journalist, and this is what it's about. I urge everyone to come together and fight for Julian. Julian represents all our liberties and all our rights.